Good day, everyone. Savage here. With Savage Charge from Twitter. Go check me out on Twitter if you're not already following me. Today I decided to do a uh, special stream uh, because the hash ribbons here, which has been a one of the best long-term buy signals for Bitcoin, has flashed a blue buy. We're going to talk about do we buy now, do we FOMO into now, where the best opportunity is to long if we don't FOMO in long, as well as all the other factors um, with the hash ribbons, whether it could cross back over, it could cross back bearish, is it uh, bullish, you know, is it a lagger, is it a leader, all the, like I said, all the important things about the hash ribbons today. Very special episode, I'm very happy to be here, let's get to it fam. Alright, so first thing fam, I want to look at here is hash ribbons, alright, if you don't know about the hash ribbons fam, it's like, it, it just basically shows capitulation um it shows capitulation on the on the the daily chart when bitcoin happens when it's been like i said a good buying opportunity uh we're not gonna go for this sake of this stream we're not gonna actually go back but it worked even early on two five seven hundred thirteen hundred you can go back and study it yourself you could just get this indicator right there on trading view for free hash ribbons fam so check that out definitely add it to one of your charts uh make sure you're always paying attention to it especially if you're a long-term investor maybe you're not an intraday trader like me and a long-term investor both um but uh, if you're a long-term investor this could be huge for you fam a great opportunity to learn about hash ribbons and how you can really overcome um, a bullish bias a bearish bias by just using this one indicator right so let's go back to the the end of the 2017 bull market here fam as you can see here we actually capitulated we started capitulating early okay so we started capitulating really right around here right if you had used the hash ribbons or even knew about it was actually very it was kind of a, a hush thing back then uh, a lot more people use it now and know about it now but look you can just see right here how when we crossed down here we started capitulating we made another macro lower low and then we broke down right first blue and this is why we're going to talk about first blue buy signal if you just use this this buy signal right here was right here okay so if you had just started accumulating at this point at the buy signal and held it to whatever your your target was i mean even if you held it only to the 8k that's double your money the maybe you held it to that 14k that macro uh lower high it doesn't really matter the point is this was a great buying opportunity the back the price was at the lows of the last bear cycle we're talking three to 3800 right here great opportunity to buy no matter what anyone says right now these were great opportunities to buy hash of them check worked there very very well again let's go back over here here we go we have a little bit of capitulation now this is a very strong capitulation as you can see we have this nice downward movement downward dip makes a little bit of a valley here this one right here wasn't very clean but the point is we did have some type of capitulation here all right the point is is that we had we had this capitulation it was flat it didn't have this huge valley this huge dip but either way another good buying opportunity if you're just talking about being a long-term investor you bought here at 3k when it's high as 14k you bought more at 7k you saw you maybe you were watching the chart once a week once a month as a long-term investor you saw the highs get to 14k and now we're at half the price of the highs right here i would say as a long-term investor 7k even back here in the bear cycle was a good opportunity to buy check right there as you can see right here we go we go up and we had what what did what happened here fam we had the COVID crash okay in fact What's interesting about this is the capitulation didn't happen until after the bottom of the quote unquote, whatever you want to call it, black swan COVID crash. Doesn't really matter the term of this. We had a dip, right? We had a dip. We had a dip towards the lows, fam. We retested this area absolutely perfectly on the on the chart. Perfectly. I mean, we literally hit that liquidity zone. People were like, well, that was a COVID thing. I was like, no, they actually just retested the bottom and then bounced. They, they took off to new highs, right? So again, right, if you had used this capitulation, and now this is interesting right here. We capitulated and then bought and capitulated again. All right, why are we talking about this? This double whammy right here, okay? So really, if you had bought right here at the buy zone, Okay, here's the next buy zone okay we have one right here you bought at 7500 you bought basically at the same price 
you bought up over here okay this is good price right you didn't buy the lows you you saw the capitulation happen maybe you decided to get risky and buy during the capitulation that's the red zone but you didn't have a blue buy signal until around 7400 crossed up very very strong here's this huge cross and then you see these double this double red line you saw actually this huge type of capitulation happen right and watch this right we're just going up and down up and down so we've capitulated now you don't even have a buy signal right so the highs over here were like 10.4 low over here was around 8700 you didn't have another buy signal till right about here so notice fam i want you to pay attention to this we have a clear buy signal way after they crossed up okay sometimes it, they the buy signal happens right away sometimes it doesn't okay uh that's just how this indicator works okay huge buy signal you bought at an average price of 9300 obviously we know this went right to 64k right this is this is back in uh 2020 september 2020 and no one knew where the price was gonna go it went very flat this was accumulation you had the buy signal on the, on the hash ribbons it was a dead giveaway when i saw this buy signal i was very bullish a lot of people missed this and it was a good uh it was a good investment for me buying spot there then we move up here we have some type of rejection here sent back down again right watch this on the way up so here we are going up we're, we're, we're hovering now we're, we're consolidating underneath the previous all-time high of 20k really interesting there look at this it's kind of hovering right underneath there buy signal where you bought some more at 19k and you actually had fam you actually had an opportunity here to buy even lower 17k so you bought more 19k 17k again so we had just from that covid dip we had a buy opportunity before 65 4k before the big new all-time high we just saw in this last bull market we had three buy signals we had one at 7500 we had one at 10 9k and then you had another one at i like, will just say average of 18k right so we have 10 9 or sorry uh 7 9 uh 18k so 16 18 what is that 34 we'll just wrap it was basically 34 divided by three it was about 12 you know your average position was about 11 12k right there and then if you just rolled this out from this third buy signal you're we're talking about 13k to less than twelve thousand dollars average buy if you bought the even amount from like i said since the covid dip on the hash ribbons alone and why i want the reason we're talking about this is this double dip i do think this could happen this could easily happen fam so yes, is this a good opportunity to buy? This might actually be a good opportunity to buy. What if we do start moving up? If we move up and we see something like this, this double dip here, right? Or they hold the price and they move it up. It doesn't really matter. We see a double dip, you buy again, right? So I, I'm actually gonna take this buy signal very seriously just for the just for the, these per, this perfect example. Even this double dip, right? We're just talking about this double dip, including a third buy before breaking previous all-time high of 20K. You had three buys, fam, averaging in at less than $12,000 Bitcoin. We went to 64K. All right. Got it. Good. All right. We had reaccumulation. We had this. Here's a, here's another capitulation. Very, very clean. They just literally, we, we distributed up here. We had a capitulation happen right here initially, and then capitulation redistribution. Again, where's this buy signal? We just use this buy signal like history. We need to use it. We bought an average of $42,000. We know it went to 69K. A nice, good 20, 30% gain, right? There's that buy signal, okay? Here we are. We have another buy signal. Boom. Is this real? Yes, I think it's real. I think it's important. But you know what, fam? It's something to pay attention to this. Um, we're gonna zoom in here, and we're gonna talk about the importance of the shape, right? First off, since we started capitulating, since the Luna crash, July 4th, we had a little cross up. It wasn't a buy. You can see how dark green it came. It wasn't a buy, but we definitely got that dark green. I want to show you something. Look, when it gets flat like this, when it gets really flat like this, and it's still flat, it's not confirmation. It's not confirmation. So you could wait, in my opinion, right here we are, we have this huge capitulation not capitulation really event but we had this huge kind of crash an impulse crash right we go over here this huge impulse crash and here we are on the one hour fam and and the, the really we've really important we've we've dropped below some let's just use this chart this will be fine uh we've we've dropped below there uh the bear flag structure right we have this huge type of bear flag structure drop below it and 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 we have this retest here 
they could easily get back buck, uh, above that, get back into the zone. But I do believe there's something to say about running these long stops right here. Okay, this long stops, I think this is the healthiest move. We see something like this, which like th this happens, right? We get this move up, buy a little bit on just this hash ribbon. It's a little premature hash ribbon buy. Like I said, you can wait a few days. No one's missing out by waiting a few days on um, letting this settle in. Okay, I want to see some progress here i want to see an uh, like a even this fam this is this is a perfect example i would love to even see something like this where we had the huge drop over that right shoulder right we have made that huge double-headed left right shoulder here we made this huge right shoulder in the capitulation here right i want to see a cross back over like that that's going to be a healthy buy signal for me but there is like i said there i'm not i'm not going to be nearly as bearish in the short term medium term over the next few months to the end of this year if we can stay up here right if we if we could stay up here i start seeing us get down to the the good support zone like i said i would love to see these hit we hit this this goes down a little bit and starts to level out starts to get more stable fam i'm bullish i'm i'm bullish for this possibly being the long this possibly being a very good bottom not to say that we can't hit lower but if we start showing some support, some major support right here at that 16 to 18K range, fam, we're golden. This capitulation is uh, this capitulation event being done with the buy signal is real. Look at this huge tick up over here. It's actually very strong and very interesting to me how price goes down like that. You see the selling and yet somehow uh, uh, we got a buy signal in the hash ribbons. But anyways, I wanted to make this quick update. I know it's quick, just 12 minutes. I wanted to talk about hash ribbons. Yes, I'm going to be more bullish. The person that has been telling you up here that this is distribution, I'm going to be more bullish down at the lows. Okay, I'm going to be more bullish for definitely be looking for longs on a, on a dip a little bit lower. There is still the golden pocket, fam, right here. The golden pocket's very clean here. Uh, on a second. Golden pocket's very clean right here, fam. And I want to see us hit that golden pocket right here, which is 20.4, 20 20.234. 20 uh, make sure. Okay, see. All right, there we go. So even lower, 20K. Huge kind of point of control. Um, I do want to see that hit. Uh, either way, if we don't hit it, I'm watching the two-day Bollinger Bands. Um, uh, fam, this is, this is huge to me. This is a big deal to me. Uh, the, the buy signal. I just want to see it confirmed. All right. It's going to take a little bit of time. It is a little bit of a, actually what's interesting. This is a little bit of a leading indicator so that you get a buy. We may chop down to these lows right here and we get, we get down there fam. We're buying, we're buying spot right now. My strategy, and I want to make this very clear. This even is even better for for the hash ribbons, it makes my strategy even better. But I have 60% of my capital on a dollar cost average below 20K. Anytime the price is below 20K, I have a certain amount I'm investing periodically over the same time time intervals, okay? Um, and I'm investing 60% of my capital all the way from a 16K to 20K investment range. Anything below 16K, I have the additional 40% for another uh, dollar cost average type of um uh investment strategy so i'm still i'm buying spot fam below 20k regardless i'm just i just am i'm not i'm only investing like gonna he heavily invest 60 percent all the way down to that 16k zone but i'm leaving the additional 40 percent if we go lower we could go 14 10 you know some really important 7k even as low as 4 6 and i know that sounds ridiculous but if things got really really hectic in the legacy markets, which I'm not doubting can happen, um, fam, we're gonna go really, really low. But I think at any price below 20K is a absolute god tier long term buy opportunity. Period. Below 1K Ethereum. Um, uh, and we can go through the alts another day. But, anyways, this is the hash ribbons. I wanna go over a quick, make a, I haven't made a YouTube video in a while. Please hit that sub if you learned something here. Uh, go follow me on Twitter, Savage Charts. Uh, go follow me on Twitch. Watch my nightly streams. Bad love, everybody. I appreciate all you.